Good morning and welcome to Virtual Praise on this the 9th of May 2021. It is Mother's Day today and we celebrate all of the mothers that are either with us in worship or those who may be watching at home. Sit back now and incline your hearts, clear your minds, and as we go to worship our Lord Jesus Christ. set me free. I'm happy to be in the truth, and I will daily lift my hands, for I will always sing of when your love came down. I could sing of your love forever. I could sing of your love forever. I could sing of your love Spirit of love, abide in us and in our worship. Whisper your song of love in our hearts, that love may flow through every word we hear, every thought we think, every word we speak, and every song we sing. Spirit of power and grace, abide in us, that we may abide in your love and proclaim your song of love for all. Amen. Our gospel lesson this morning comes from the book of St. John in the 15th chapter. Hear these words. As the Father has loved me, so have I loved you. Now remain in my love. If you keep my commands, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commands and remain in his love. I have told you this so that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be complete. My command is this, love each other as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this, to lay down one's life 
for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command. I no longer call you servants because a servant does not know his master's business. Instead, I have called you friends for everything that I learned from my father, I have made known to you. You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you so that you might go and bear fruit, fruit that will last, and so that whatever you ask in my name, the Father will give you. This is my command. Love each other. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Amen. Spirit of love, we come in search of love and in the hope of learning how to love as you love us. Help us to see others with your eyes of love. Help us to forgive and accept forgiveness as fully and confidently as you forgive. Love us, dear God, with the mercy and grace we need to abide in your love each and every day. In your love and grace we pray. Amen. And now, my friends, receive this assurance of pardon for our many sins. God's Spirit is with us, embracing us with forgiveness and grace, abiding in us with the power of love for all. My brothers and sisters, know that we are indeed forgiven. Amen. Our affirmation of faith today comes from the modern affirmation, which is written in a more contemporary style. Where the spirit of the Lord is, there is the one true church, apostolic and universal, whose holy faith let us now declare. We believe in God the Father, infinite in wisdom, power, and love, whose mercy is over all his works, and whose will is ever directed to his children's good. We believe in Jesus Christ, Son of God and Son of Man, the gift of the Father's unfailing grace, the ground of our hope, and the promise of our deliverance from sin and death. We believe in the Holy Spirit as the divine presence in our lives, whereby we are kept in perpetual remembrance of the truth of Christ and find strength and help in time of need. We believe that this faith should manifest itself in the service of love as set forth in the example of our blessed Lord, to the end that the kingdom of God may come upon the earth. Amen. My great Redeemer's praise The glories of my God and King The trials of His grace My gracious Master and my God Assist me to proclaim To spread through all the earth and broad the honors of thy name He breaks the power of cancelled sin He sets the prisoner free His blood can make the foulest clean His blood avail for me, he speaks in listening to his voice, 
Our second reading this morning comes from 1 John in the fifth chapter. Hear these words. Everyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ is born of God, and everyone who loves the Father loves his child as well. This is how we know that we love the children of God, by loving God and carrying out his commands. In fact, this is love for God, to keep his commands. And his commands are not burdensome, for everyone born of God overcomes the world. This is the victory that has overcome the world, even our faith. Who is it that overcomes the world? Only the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God. This is the one who came by water and blood, Jesus Christ. He did not come by water only, but by water and blood. And it is the Spirit who testifies, because the Spirit is the truth. May God bless the reading of God's holy word. Amen. God, good beyond all that is good, fair beyond all that is fair. In you is calmness, peace, and concord. Heal the dissensions that divide us from one another and bring us back to a unity of love bearing some likeness to your divine nature. Through the embrace of love and the bonds of godly affection, make us one in the spirit by your peace which makes all things peaceful. We ask this through the grace, mercy, and tenderness of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Would you pray with me, please? May the words of my mouth and the meditation of our hearts be pleasing unto you, O Lord. May your word be proclaimed either through me or in spite of me. I ask in the name of the living Christ. Amen. Well, I am certain on this Mother's Day that all of those mothers present with us in worship and all those who may be watching at home, all of you, could easily win any Mother of the Year contest. I think most of us would say that our mom is, or perhaps was, a very special person. And mothers have an incalculable impact on the lives of their children. Sometimes that's very good, and unfortunately sometimes it's not so good. However, many of us would say that they could not have hoped for or prayed for a better mom. I'm going to read for you a Mother's Day prayer written by uh, Pastor Magre de Vega. He is the senior pastor at Hyde Park United Methodist Church in Hyde Park, New York. Um, he is the author of a number of the studies that we've undertaken here. And I offer this to you in its entirety with his express permission to share it. Hear this. God of provision and unconditional love, on this day when we acknowledge the importance of motherhood among us, we first give thanks that you are a loving parent to us all. From your being all life was born, and in your bosom all creation is nurtured. You have formed us in your image as your children, and gathered us together as a brood under your wing. 
You have united us as kindred members of one human family. And we are grateful to be your offering, your offspring together. We celebrate your divine love reflected in human expressions of motherhood. We give you thanks for the mothers among us and ask that you strengthen them in their daily tasks. Grant them wisdom in the lessons they teach, patience in the discipline they foster, and persistence in their promotion of decency and compassion, both by word and example. May they be given the honor and thanks they deserve, but often do not receive. We thank you for all motherly figures, grandmothers, aunts, sisters, wives, stepmothers, foster mothers, guardians, babysitters, teachers, healthcare providers, neighbors, friends, loved ones, and oh so many more who practice self-sacrifice and embody compassion to all who are privileged to be in their influence. Grant them vigor to carry on their work and the satisfaction that the holy privilege of their task affords. We acknowledge to you, O oh God, that even amid our grateful celebration, many of us come with restless spirits, reluctant to name the difficulties of this day. For some, this day brings the sorrowful awareness of their own inability to conceive biological children. Draw your tender spirit near their feelings of self-betrayal, impotence, and grief, and remind them that those who struggle with infertility have always shared a special place in your heart. We pray for those who have suffered miscarriages those fatigued by fertility treatments, and those struggling through the process of adoption. May they remember that in your power and through your church, they can still leave a lasting legacy beyond themselves. For some, this day is marked by loneliness and grief, as they spend their first Mother's Day as a widower, an orphan, or a parent who has lost a child. To those who today live in the wake of the death of a loved one, grant glimpses of the resurrection. Bring to them a steady restoration of their broken hearts. Allow them to live into their future with hope and empower them to carry out the legacy of lessons instilled within them. For some, this is a day that surfaces ongoing tensions that exist within our personal relationships and family dynamics. We ask for healing from the wounds of our past, a path of forgiveness for wrongs both experienced and committed, and the rebuilding of trust forged in honesty, authenticity, and love. We give you thanks for the wide spectrum of motherhood represented among us today. New mothers and young mothers whose children are in their most tender years. Mothers of grown children who transition into empty nests and a new chapter of self-discovery. Mothers and grandmothers of advanced years whose twilight of life is marked by frailty of body but a potency of spirit. Theirs is a cumulative reminder that though our lives are marked by transition and change, your nurture and affection for all your children remains the same. Therefore, remind us to live with a childlike faith, curious to every wondrous mystery, attentive to every instruction, obedient to your every command, and willing to share with every one of your children. We give you thanks, O oh God, who is a loving mother and father to us all, and in whose name we pray. Amen. Whew, that's pretty good stuff. <laughs> I think the prayer constructed by Pastor 
Pastor Magre is brilliant and it is all encompassing. And I would be way out of my depth to suggest anything should be added or could be added. So I won't try to improve upon it or expand on it. What I will ask is that as we go through this day, with all of those beautiful words in the, our minds, I ask that we also remember the mother who made our faith possible. And that's, of course, Mary, the mother of God. Can you imagine the faith required of Mary to simply accept the word of this angel Gabriel who comes to her? Mary was herself a child, and she is told that by the power of the Holy Spirit, you will give birth to God's Son. It seems the outside nature of her burden should be astounding to all of us. Now, our Catholic brothers and sisters sometimes take heat from Protestants because of the veneration of Mary practiced in the Roman Catholic Church. But I think, to be fair, we should put it into perspective. You see, Catholics do not see Mary as an equal to Christ, but rather Mary is the ideal example of someone who is completely submissive to God. They simply recognize that this young girl accepted this call from God in a very big way. Consider everything that she would have faced. Difficult questions from family and difficult questions from Joseph, her betrothed, not to mention the amount of shame and humiliation foisted upon Joseph, believing that he was fathering a child out of wedlock. And Mary would face the public shame and scorn because no one could know of the sacred nature of her sudden pregnancy. She might even suffer ejection from the temple. Now our Catholic friends argue with some validity that had Mary not borns, born God's Son, our faith might look very different if it existed at all. They even have a special prayer to Mary that has lent itself to all sorts of modern metaphors. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Those words came from Gabriel's mouth to Mary when he first appeared to her. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. These are the words that Elizabeth exclaims when her baby in her womb leaps when Mary enters the room, and Elizabeth is filled with the Holy Spirit, and she makes this statement about how blessed Mary is. It concludes, Hail Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. So that first half of the prayer, those first two pieces that we talked about, they are directly from Luke's Gospel. Now the last half of the prayer from Holy, Mother, Holy Mary, Mother of God, that was not added to the prayer until sometime after Martin Luther died. And it was added simply as a, a prayer of intercession that Mary, who all would have agreed is in the company of all the saints, that Mary would intercede on their behalf. 
My friends, it stands to reason that without Christmas, there would be no Easter, and with that, no salvation. It also means that without Mary, Jesus' death and resurrection might not be what we understand it today. I think that makes her pretty important to my faith and yours. Mary, you see, is the catalyst for everything else about Christianity. Everything that comes, comes because Mary accepted God's call. All of us that claim to be Christian, of whatever denomination, all of us must, to some degree, honor the willingness of Mary to accept God's call. All of us are blessed by the women that we have been able to call mom and all that she has done for us. But we are forgiven because Mary was obedient to God in an unprecedented moment of faith. Just something to ponder on this Mother's Day. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine. Heir of salvation, purchase of God. Born of His Spirit, washed in His blood. This is my story, this is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long This is my story, this is my song Praising my Savior all the day long Perfect submission, perfect delight Visions of rapture now burst on my sight Angels descending bring from above Echoes of mercy, whispers of love This is my story, this is my song Praising my Savior all the day long This is my story, this is my song Praising my Savior Submission, all is at rest. I in my Savior am happy and blessed. Watching and waiting, looking above, filled with His goodness, lost in His love. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior. This is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long.
And now, my brothers and sisters, receive this benediction. Created by God, we go to love all of creation. Blessed with love, we are bound by love. Chosen for love, we go now in love. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a safe and blessed week. Happy Mother's Day. I look forward to being with you again very soon. God bless. Praise God from whom all blessings flow.